in somewhere and suddenly one of the person he walked in and he was talking to my friend and my friend was so engrossed in our conversation and the person who was waiting he come and he starts to, he said okay okay tell me tell me and he started telling his problems and while uh, my friend did not give the kind of attention he deserves i thought and i realized not listening is another the bad trait of us have which we just don't care to uh, acknowledge and we continue in a life my friend this is a more surest i think the most negative thing we all is a commonly observed in people and especially the people who are in some position or hold some status of power not listening my friend this is certainly one of the most common complaint i hear in my professional i heard in my professional life and even in my personal life i lot many times i hear this uh, complaint remember these people will tolerate all sorts all sorts of rudeness but your uh, anyone's inability to pay attention holds a special place place in their hearts perhaps he may the person may forget or ignore anything but not something of uh, this sort all of us should be able to uh, with a uh, say that nobody likes it after all why can't we keep our eyes open why can't we keep our ears open our eyes looking into looking at uh, whosoever is telling or uh, saying something to us and all and simply keep our mouth shut and do not interrupt her or him and give him a very sincere uh, attention you know what what happens what is the consequences of this inability uh, to listen or not listening is that when you fail at listening you are sending out a very clear message to the person who is talking to you you are simply saying that i don't care about you i don't uh, understand you or you're wrong you are, you maybe you maybe you are you you're stupid you're wasting your time or or instantly in fact all of these what i've said uh, together you can weigh the message to the person my friend it's a wonder if the same person will ever talk to you again no question people will not talk to you again or they will feel shy uh, talking to you again if they cannot avoid talking to you the interesting thing about the not listening is that for the most part it's a say is a silent invisible activity people rarely notice you doing it you can be uh, not listening because you are bored or distracted or busy composing what you want to say and no one will know it my friend the only time people actually actually see that you are not listening to them is when you are uh, displaying extreme impatience you want them to hurry up or get to the point people notice that and they rarely think better of you or for it never you may as well be shouting uh, next at them and that's it this what happened my friend when i worked uh, uh, with one of the corporate sector and there should be very frequent meetings of all top executive and the ceo sitting in the center table or center chair and this group of executives who compromise the top management team of the most respected uh, institution it was actually drdo hyderabad research center and developing uh, programs 
this problem retaining uh, the young talent and the floor was during presentation each one is to each young uh, scientist or member technical person is to come and give the presentations and during presentation everyone in the senior management they had developed the annoying habit of looking at the uh, watches or uh, monitoring or uh, turning the pages of the files in front of flying them or monitoring uh, for junior scientists to move, move it move it move it along and repeating it over and over uh, simply not even uh, giving attention a uh, next slide the top the next slide before the next slide comes is the next slide now just imagine this annoying habit explains the problem the presenter how disheartened he feels now have you ever tried uh, uh, to make a presentation while your um, boss or the ceo or the manager to whom you are presenting is granted that you are uh, that you and kept telling you to move it along well that's how the junior uh, people or the uh, younger uh, talents they are treated and the senior management challenge is only one thing my friend that is listening while the juniors or the young people or their subordinates they made their presentations to give them a patient hearing and not listening is the habit which is very disastrous for them to progress it is easy my friend why these bosses are so impatient all these ceos and bosses because they all are brilliant they have reached to the status after quite a uh, knowledge wisdom and they deserve it to be there they all spotted advanced degrees from the best of the institutions as a result they find it hard to sit still while those below them on the pecking order talked because some reason few reasons i can come to mind is firstly alpha a they often uh, felt that they already knew what they were about to hear and secondly their minds wonder worked so fast that they could comprehend any message by filling in the blanks themselves they exactly know what they, what is uh, they're going to say and uh, what is the next thing when i told this story to someone else <laughs> he he laughed and he said this is uh, still better next slide next slide he said my my boss is even worse i said how he said instead of next slide he will just say last slide come on last slide just imagine what goes to me when i spend uh, Uh, a week or 10 days presenting the presentation and when you are given the chance the boss says okay just show me the last slide because he doesn't have a time or he has the habit of not listening at all the top executive my friends the bosses have to learn that them that they must change simply because the world has changed now in the olden days the, the junior people uh, in any major corporate uh, corporate sector or corporation might not have had the better option for employment but now he has a choice between big company and another my friend these days the junior is not so uh, uh, is not he he is not a hostage to bunch of old men in white shirt and a nice tie they can wear uh, blue jeans to work they can have uh, beer blast on weekends and most of cases many cases i have seen they can also get rich at a very young age my friend the reality for leaders of the past and the realities in the future is that in the past very bright people would put up with 
disrespectable behavior. While in the future, they will simply leave because they have the option. My friend, when you find yourself uh, mentally or literally uh, drumming your fingers while someone else is talking, kindly stop this drumming. Kindly stop giving attention for that time. Stop drumming. Impatience. Uh, this is a sign of an impatient man. Not listening to someone, my friend, is a bad habit. Stop saying or thinking, even if somebody gives a presentation, next slide, or next slide, or next. Move on. Skip this. My friend, remember, it's not only rude and annoying, but it is it's sure to inspire your subordinates or colleagues or the young talent to find their next bosses. Get rid of this bad habit of not listening. You will surely be a better person and better leader. Thank you very much.